Good evening, y'all. How we doing? I know it's been a while since I've been on, but I just want to uh, say congratulations. We made it through Thanksgiving. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. We made it through Thanksgiving. For some of y'all, Christmas, New Year's. And for me, I have a third thing to go through. Uh, my son was murdered on the 21st of January. So I still have to get through that. But you know what? I'm going to trust God and I know I'm going to make it. I just want to encourage you. Because, you know, this is the Christmas season. And a lot of time we forget Jesus is the reason for the season. That because God gave his only son to come as a little baby for us that we may have eternal life. And I'm excited about that. But, you know, um, Christmas is the time of year that make people feel good. Giving. And... It's okay to give, especially when it comes down to children. Because I see it as, um, I don't do the Christmas story, uh, the Christmas Santa Claus story. I never did. I always taught my kids that the gifts that we have come from uh, us, the parents. That God has blessed us to be able to provide. And everybody's different. Some people you know, into the uh, the Santa Claus thing. That's fine and dandy. We all have to do what we feel that we have to do for our family, for our children. But I felt that it was important for me to teach them uh, that, you know, that we are, we're the Santas. And that, uh, you know, and I felt that way because it was very important that I teach my children as much as I could about Jesus and not about Santa and all of the rest of the things because in 1994 uh, I was diagnosed with um, lupus so I only had like a, a short period of time to make sure that I implant you know planted into my children good things that will get them through excuse me that will get them through life so uh, as we prepare for the Christmas season, just remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. That we should be worshiping him and loving him and praying and talking to him. And it's okay to do your gift giving. You know, however you celebrate, that's, you know, that's on you. I just want to remind you that um, God's spirit is uh there for us to give us wisdom and these this is a gift gifts from the spirit god's spirit understanding counsel uh encouragement knowledge uh uh what else love did i have love and god has given us the gift of eternal life once we accept christ into our heart as our personal lord and savior then we have the gift of eternal life that mean that when i die i will get an opportunity to see jesus and to see my family that has went before me that believes in jesus so if you don't know jesus you can't go to heaven only way you can get to heaven is through jesus okay and so I just want to encourage you today to don't let depression sneak in for the holiday. Because he will. That spirit of depression will come in. And then you will uh, be depressed. You will be sad. And, you know, and that's not what God wants for us. So, you know, we have to remember that. We have to thank God for the things that we have, not the things that we don't have any longer. Not to say that we don't love our husband anymore or our family anymore. It's just that if we don't put things in perspective where we at as widows, it's easy to fall into uh, to depression and to uh, wanting to uh, that husband to be there and and it just 
just mess your mind all up. Well, guess what, y'all? We If we made it through Thanksgiving, guess what? We going to make it through Christmas. Yes, we will. I will. You will. Because let me tell you, I like to remind you. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And again, I'm sorry I hadn't been on. It's just that so many things is going on. And uh, I've been running and doing a lot of things and preparing for the holiday of blessing someone, y'all. I'm excited that God has given me a couple of things that I can do to bless somebody else. And for you know what? I found that when I bless other people, it helps me with healing uh, my heart from you know, my husband leaving and my son being gone, now my daddy gone, mama gone, and I have a brother gone. And all of it does is help me with my grief when I help other people. It helps strengthens me and builds me up to even wants to do more. So praying is another thing that you can do for people. You know, sometimes you can't give a gift, but you can give prayers, even for children. You can pray for them, pray for families. You know, uh, there's always somebody that needs prayer, somebody in your community. And then ask God, what can I do for somebody to bless them, for you to feel good about giving them a blessing? Not to make you feel like you more than somebody else, but just knowing that even though I'm a widow, I still have purpose. I still have a reason to live for. I still can press on. I still can laugh. I can smile. I can love other people. I can help people. It's many things as widows that we can do that we couldn't do if we had a spouse. So find out those little things that you can do because it's the little things that help people along. I mean, look, it can be a box of candy cane wrapped up in that you give to the postman or give to somebody in the church or somebody in your neighborhood me the lord having me focus on my neighborhood so whatever i can do to be a blessing to them i'm going to try my best to be my best and again i just want to encourage you and congratulate you first that you made it through thanksgiving and we're still here and then guess what y'all we're going to make it through christmas i know we will because we trust in and believe in God to help us through. And because of that, we will. And always remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. And be a blessing to somebody. Stop always looking for somebody to give you. Why don't you give somebody? Why don't you ask God to help you to be a giver to somebody? Because, you know, it's easy to feel selfish. Well, I give, give. Well, who's going to give me? Well, God gives you all the time. So as a widow, I found that it helps when I volunteer my time or give my time in a way that it helps somebody else because it's always somebody less fortunate than me. If you can't find nobody, there's plenty of people on Facebook that, you know, you may hear them uh, going through uh, saying that they lost a loved one. But that's when you give your little prayer in, uh, your little prayer in hands, uh, something to let them know that you're supporting them. You know, uh, get their name and go to Messenger and send them a message and just let them know that you're praying for them, that you know that it's going to be okay, that you know that God is with us and we're going to continue to lift them up. It's a lot of things you can do that don't cost one penny. It don't cost nothing to smile, to wave, you know. Sometimes all I do is do the prayer to let people know that I'm thinking of them, I'm praying with them, or just a wave to say hello. It's a lot of things that we can do that it don't cost anything, you know. And those are the gifts that people remember. The time that, okay, right now we have to stay socially distanced, but the times that I have passed a person and just pat them on their back, and that was a blessing to them. Not knowing that they needed a pat on the back. You know. But uh, now with the social distance. We have to be mindful of the touching. And you know doing that stuff. But yet and still. We still can bless them. We can send them a card. I think we all have, have uh, uh, cards. Greeting cards at home. You know send them a greeting card. If you can't afford to 
uh, buy the stamps, uh, give somebody in your neighborhood where you can just walk and stick it in their door. You know, it's a lot of things we can do to be a blessing. And again, y'all remember, Jesus is the reason for the season and you're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And that I do believe and I trust God that we will be okay. Will we have some, uh, some sad moments? Yeah, but that's a part of living. Bad things happen. Disasters happen. That don't mean God don't love us. He still loves us. But you got to know that God loves you. And the only way you're going to know, you got to talk to him. Prayers is talking to Jesus. Talk to him. Ask him, what can I do? Okay, if I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm like, Lord, what can I do to get out of this rut? And he'll tell you. Sometimes you got to turn off the TV. Sometimes you got to turn off the radio. Sometimes you got to take a walk. Sometimes you have to be in a quiet place where you can hear the still, quiet voice telling you what to do. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to keep y'all long. I love y'all. Whittles, hang on in there. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And until next time, hopefully it'll be sooner. But like I said, right now with the holidays, I have a couple of different projects that I'm trying to bless people with. Uh, so I encourage you or challenge you to be a blessing. And look, make a video and post what you're doing. Uh, just uh, on the uh, widow to widow, just say what you're doing. You know, it'll be a blessing to somebody else to know that just because we widows, that don't mean that we can't live, love, and laugh. Okay? Again, until next time, blessings and hugs. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.